I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that most people watching this won't have heard of the name Janet Frame. In fact, there's a good chance even many of my New Zealand viewers might not be familiar with who she is either. Janet Frame was a New Zealand author who was internationally renowned for her work. Work which included novels, short stories, poetry, young adult fiction, and an autobiography. It was a literary career that spanned from 1957 to 1989. She received numerous awards, including being appointed to the Order of New Zealand, which is New Zealand's highest civil honour. Frame's life story had many dramatic moments, the most incredible of which was one point where, after years of psychiatric hospitalisation, she was scheduled for a lobotomy that got cancelled at the last minute when her debut publication of short stories was unexpectedly awarded a National Literary Prize. Many of her novels and short stories explore her childhood and psychiatric hospitalisation from a fictional perspective. And her award-winning three-volume autobiography was adapted in 1990 into the film An Angel at My Table, directed by Jane Campion. Like her autobiography, the movie is split into three parts that look at her life when she was a kid in her teens and early 20s and her adult life. It's a very well-told story and the acting from the actresses that play her at the various stages of her life are on point. For such a complex life with so many different facets, Campion does a great job of condensing this into two and a half hours. You get a sense of the movement through time, you know where she is and why she's in the places that she's in. Overall, it's a well-executed package. For me, as a New Zealander too, there was a really big nostalgia factor with this. The weatherboard houses, the moss-covered concrete driveway, doing headstands on the couch, the rotary phone in the hallway. This reminded me of home so very, very much. I really enjoyed this, and even if you're not familiar with Frame or her work, as a well-crafted film, it's well worth checking out.